for city beaches. And that comes with a word of caution. Yeah, changes in the weather could actually lead to dangerous conditions on the lake. And Labor Day weekend does traditionally bring a high number of incidents across the Chicago waterways. NBC 5's Jen Schantz shares important safety tips from Montrose Beach. With the oppressive heat we battled earlier this week, the allure of a nice cool dip at the beach is going to be hard to pass up this holiday weekend. But keep in mind, changing conditions could pose a safety risk. A calm Friday at Montrose Beach before thousands flock here for one last splash of summer. For that reason, these friends opted to beat the Labor Day crowds. Three of us took off work today to take our three-year-olds to the beach to enjoy the beautiful day. They also wanted to avoid potentially dangerous weather. The National Weather Service expecting the arrival of a cold front and a shift in winds, bringing the potential for high waves and strong currents Sunday and Monday. Kayak Chicago was also keeping a close eye. The waves do increase the danger a little bit. Hopefully we'll still be getting people on the water. It'll depend on the conditions. This weekend, according to the city's park district, swimming safety conditions will be determined each morning at 11 o'clock. You can check the park's website or watch for the flag at the city's 27 beaches. Labor Day weekend historically has been one of the deadliest weekends on the Great Lakes. Uh, since we've been tracking the drownings. The Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project has tracked 77 drownings in the Great Lakes so far this year, with at least 44 happening in Lake Michigan. Sadly, this year, co-founder Dave Benjamin says we could surpass the drownings we saw last year. Most people have this false perception that knowing how to swim is water safety. If you find yourself struggling, try not to panic. Instead, flip, float, and follow. Flip on your back and keep your head above water and conserve your energy to follow a safe path out of the water. Mom of a toddler, Katie Lehner, says even on a mild day near Lake Michigan, she's cautious. She has to have a life jacket, um, and I don't. I just don't leave her sight. At Montrose Beach, Jen Schantz, NBC5 News.